Hi everyone, Anthony Fantano here, internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of the new Ken Mode LP in Trench. These guys are a Winnipeg-based Canadian award-winning metal trio, and this is their fifth full-length LP. And on this new LP, they continue to deliver this pretty diverse loud rock sound that has made them pretty popular up until this point. And the band continues to make these subtle improvements and tweaks to their sound and their style as they release more and more <coughs> albums. Now, what may be the most obvious influence for Ken Mode on this LP, post-hardcore, maybe a little bit of noise rock, the sour, angular riffs, the detailed and sort of technical drums, the ferocity, the punk spirit of this album. It definitely screams influences like Drive Like Jehu and Unsane, and the, the latter of those two I would say have a pretty strong impression on Ken Mode in terms of just the feedback coming from the guitar, some of the stringy, dissonant guitar leads, and the vocals that frontman Jesse Mathewson displays on this album, whether he's kind of doing the snark very ah, spoken word kind of thing. Now, even though I do feel like Ken Mode falls into the genres, there are some groups in post-hardcore and noise rock that I wouldn't necessarily compare them to, like Piss Jeans or The Jesus Lizard. Unlike them, Ken Mode does not pray at the altar of, of chaos and just uncontrolled noisiness. I wouldn't say this album is so cleanly produced that it feels robotic or lifeless or anything like that, but performing and executing on point, being sort of technical, being very proficient with their instruments seems to matter a lot to Ken Mode. And this sharp playing leads to a lot of focus in the very busy riffing or drum fills on this LP. Maybe a little more focus than I think some people may give when listening to this album, because riffs like on the track Secret Vasectomy go by in, in sort of a blur to the point where they're not incredibly memorable because of how fast and just viciously Ken Mode is playing. And all the syncopated drums just locking in step with the riffs, Ken Mode hammers tracks out like this like it's nothing. However, I wouldn't say that Ken Mode is 100% relentless 100% of the time. There are tracks on this LP that do come off as legitimately catchy, like the opening track on this LP, Counter Culture Complex, which has this sharp ass riff that opens the song up after a sort of viola freak out. The guitar has an odd twang to it, and man, the verses are just pummeling on this track. But once they break into the chorus, it's like total night and day change. Nice contrast with all these sad, sour, depressing guitar chords. It feels like getting the crap beaten out of me and then quickly falling into this downward spiral of depression as soon as the chorus pops in. And when Ken Mode isn't throwing a really catchy hook out there, they're putting together a track that has a very sort of repetitive and earworm chorus with group vocals screaming out loudly toward the end of the track. Like the song, No, I'm in control. No, I'm in control. Or the other track, Your heartwarming story makes me sick. Some really hard-hitting words from Ken Mode at, at this point on these songs. But some of the other lyrics throughout the track, before these spots, can sort of read like, angry message board posts written by somebody who has a thesaurus in hand as they're typing fiercely in all caps. Your insipid hopes and dreams will only serve as a catalyst to an ageless resurgence. Even tracks like Promises of God can feel a little esoteric despite having some pretty straightforward language and a very clear theme to the words. Overall, the lyrics on this LP didn't really move me or offend me. All I can really say is that Ken Mode plays so fast and so angrily that what the vocals are saying may be the last thing you zero in on at the end of the day. Ken Mode can be really cutthroat with their speed and their relentless riffing, but there are some points on this album where they sort of slow things down and bring a little diversity too. However, this is where things can get a little dicey. The song The Terror Pulse is one of my favorite tracks on this LP, and it's the only song on the album I would even label as maybe being possibly Jesus Lizard-esque. This track is a sludgy bass line a sort of mid pace to it, all these dissonant, sharp guitar freakouts, which are very methodically placed and proficiently played. And Jesse rants over the riffs 
angrily and manically, and there's a really heavy ending to the song that I liked quite a bit. However, another track which marks the middle of the album, Romeo Must Never Know. This song, in comparison with others on here, is supremely quiet, and the melodic character of the bass lines on this LP really screams like, Tool to me, like Lateralis era Tool. The whispered vocals and the lyrics on this track didn't really do much of anything for me, especially with where they were placed in the mix, just so obscured and so underwhelming. But the song does have a nice and heavy and tense build to it, which really blows up toward the end of the track, which I liked a lot. But I have to say that the most disappointing track on the LP easily is the closer, which is just this slow, spacious, desolate track. In a way, kind of reminds me of what Earth was doing on that Hex LP they put out a little while back, with all of these pianos delicately intertwining with them. And I'm totally down with the style, I'm totally down with what they're shooting for on this track, but a lot of the improvs that the piano and the guitars do on this song are so weak, they in no way justify the length of the track, especially as these synths or synthesized strings come in later on the end of the song. A lot of the melodies that are dancing over this guitar and piano are so undercooked and half-baked, it's kind of disappointing, especially considering some of the strong, angular, and weird guitar leads that are peppered throughout this album. All in all, Entrenched is, is fast, it's heavy, it's muscular. For the most part, it's pretty well written. Though it's not terribly original, especially when compared to their previous LPs, it is an interesting combination of influences and ideas, a band that can definitely take the sounds of noise rock and post-hardcore and translate them in a way where they'll really resonate with a metal fan. I liked Entrenched quite a bit, I'm feeling a strong 6 to a light 7 on it. If you've given it a listen, what did you think? Did you love it? Hate it? Why? What do you think I should review next? And that's it. Anthony Fantano, Ken Mode, forever. Forever.